My biggest learning from IGET is that you have to make big bets. Like uh, IGET in um, till 2010, 11 time frame, it was less than $300 million company. And uh, they were, uh, and we wanted to get to a billion dollar size in a hurry. Because uh, my, my, my read was this whole IT outsourcing, uh, the runway for that is only seven, eight years more. We had to be a billion dollar company in a hurry because there were lots of deals were happening in the US, $100 million deals, $200 million deals, and we were not even invited to the dance floor uh, by these major US companies. So we did a uh, bet the farm kind of acquisition of Putney, Computer, Putney Computers. They were three times our size. You know, in the Indian media, there was a news, you know, they, they were about $750, $800 million company. We were about $270 million company. So they were about three times our size. So Indian media had this thing, small fish is going to swallow the big fish type of stuff. Uh, we ended up doing that. We ended up acquiring Putney and for $1.55 billion. And uh, for, for that, we had to take $1.2 billion worth of debt. Now here was a company I get, which never had debt ever. And all of a sudden, we had a $1.2 billion debt. So it was a huge risk. And, but in the end, you know, last year, uh, we became a billion dollar company. And uh, we started getting very large deals. And one of the reasons we start getting large deals is while we were acquiring this thing, we were also working on a, a on an idea to changing the business model. And the business model essentially was that all the pricing in our industry is done by uh, done by effort. It's an effort-based pricing. How much effort is involved, and based on that, the companies, all these IT outsourcing companies, that price it. We came up with a model. Uh, of outcome-based pricing. And the, we put one-page ads in Wall Street Journal and uh, in uh, uh, Financial Times, you know, the, uh, that's what our audience is, C CEOs, CFOs of America. And, uh, and we started getting those $100, $200 million deals because the marketplace, uh, uh, our customer base loved that idea. Because in, in outcome-based pricing, uh, we are sharing the risk with the customer. In effort-based pricing, there is, that thing is not there. Yeah. So anyways, it worked out well, and uh, we got to be 1.3 plus million, billion dollar company, and last year, Cap Gemini acquired us for 4.2 billion dollars. And uh, really, they took over all our debt, so really the enterprise value was close to five, five billion dollars. So it worked out pretty well. And Cap Gemini is very happy. We are happy. All our employees are happy. Our shareholders are happy. It's a good, good, happy outcome.